Good evening, folks. 1937 on the 23rd day, 10th month, 18th year. Right, I've been asked by a lot of people about um, what I know about Hurricane Willa. And what I know about Hurricane Willa is that it is out there. I can verify that. I, I have seen it on, on some of the imagery. Um, I can verify that there's a lot of pressure been put in place to, to pin this down in this one area. And I want to also say that there's a caravan of people headed toward the U.S. border that has been made of a major concern to people lately. And I want to point out it's National Emergency Preparedness Month. And, well, here comes a drill about what would happen if people rush the border. And here it comes. And there's reports of this mob being paid off. There's reports of the mob being anywhere from 50,000 people to 10,000 people. And some say as little as 5,000. So... If we got any boots on the ground over here and you could take me some actual pictures of these people marching by, I'd, I'd like to see them. So would everybody else in the world. Well, look at this next rat going here, going absolutely ape shit over here in um, Texas. You know, fueling up all these rings for these people. We've seen some heavy activity there about a day ago. I'm going to go to Mimic. Right, I want to show you... Um, Then the TPW, what it what it showed me that was going on off the coast here, because for all intents and purposes, this this hurricane was not going to be moving that direction. All this flow from this hurricane should have took it this way. A wall of high pressure has been instilled here. You'll see a little pop. I'm going to stop it on it right there. See this beam right here. Well, this EMF beam, it puts up a wall of pressure that's going to be pretty hard for um, things to get around. So this is going to have to kind of ride up this way. And this pop will also, with the outflow, begin to push this over across Mexico and Central America, which begins to happen pretty immediately, actually. You see the white dot in the center. They're just in it. I haven't pulled up the Mexico City radar yet to see what they're blasting it with. And if they are, I might do that. Just depends. That's on signal and I'm cooking dinner. Right, I wanted to show you that. Right, I'm going to show you a different mimic now. Some more beam manipulation that's going on. This is the mimic TPW2. It's a new one that they kind of came out with. And I'm sure you will find this rather enjoyable. I'll paste in the link. You know, this is uh, the TPW2. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with a high layer. I'm going to go with time span of 120. And I'm going to zoom my screen a bit in a minute. I'm just going to let this roll. I already had it up a minute ago. No, it didn't change my layer. I want it up here. Right, and this will show me what's going on in the higher atmosphere ranges. And you'll see... Big bzz going on. You'll see these flashes come across. I'll see if I can stop some of it for you. And thanks everybody who's watching. Appreciate it. Right. If I stopped it right there, you'll clearly see a slam bust of them hitting that storm directly. You know, I'm going to advance it. It may jump a bit, but it's easier for me to move these arrows. See the beam? If they hit it fairly directly, I'm just going to let it run. Yeah, this is it's been very active there. So that helped direct this towards this direction here. Um, as far as data went, um, I'm going to have another look at something here in a moment. Yeah, they, they definitely hit that. Let's, let's go up on the world view and have a look, shall we? And we'll, we'll pull up the world view, and we're going to have a look at that as well. I'm not going to get into that big swathy beam because um, I still ain't finished researching exactly what that is, but that's from one of the satellite paths in imagery you know, from my round-earth model with real satellites. Right. 
Um, we're going to go right over here. I'm going to have a look at this storm. This is the latest, greatest image I have on Worldview. I'm going to go have a look. I'm going to show you some of the geoengineering that went into the making of this storm. Some of the horrendousness, some of the chem foolery. Big rope of crap here. Magnetic particulates streaming out. Bunch of hmm here and a hmm there. Look at this shit. I've been trying not to swear. So far, I've only did mild ones, so I'm going to keep trying to be like that. Look at this. It's like somebody drew a stick figure, somebody walking. Square form here in that plume. See if we can get a peek at the ocean through here. Not really. Things going in all sorts of different directions here. Look at crisscrossing lines, and this is supposed to be swirling in. This shouldn't have these big gaps like this. Everything should be funneling toward a center of circulation, which is... Um, when I go into it, you'll find this a bit interesting. I looked at it earlier. It kind of looked like a praying mantis, don't it? About as clear as I could get it. It was a little clearer earlier. So it's kind of got that dual vortex femtosecond laser look to it. Which after anybody seen my videos knows that that's well been spotted. Square edge right there. This is not a round, clear eye as you should see in one of these storms. And as I zoom back, you can kind of see the straightness of this. You know, there's straight lines here, and then they cut it over. It's not swirling, not a natural storm. Now, at the very same time, they've got a storm blowing up here. They've hedged their bets. If there's ever a run for this border, this area is well covered with storms now. So all these countries and people over here in Mexico, you're going to cop it from this geoengineering. You know, this country down here, when this thing comes across, and it will, you're going to cop it. Let me see if I can find the Mexico City radar. Let's so do that. Back you and the forecast Mexico City. I'm, I'm looking for it now. While I do that, I'll, I'll do some surfing. All right, they've set this up big time. Look at this down here that can feed into this. Look at these chemtrails down here. Damn, they're not going funneling in. Toward the center of this one. They're actually have reached out and touching this other mass of crap. Look at the squares here. This is this is a geoengineered storm fixing an impact Mexico. Not cool, not cool at all. And I showed you those beams a minute ago. Let's see if I can find the radar. This is what I want. Let's see if I can. I'm trying to bust them in Mexico. But it's kind of hard to find. Kind of hard to see. No, I don't, I don't have an accurate image for him, so I'm just going to go on with what I was doing. Well, look at this. And in a minute, I'll go over and look at your comments. I'm really, like I said, I, I can't see comments very often when I'm using this on the computer. But well, look at the setup for this storm. Look at these, uh, these chemtrails. <laughs> look at them. This is the guilt. This is what we need to show people when we look up. You probably had a mass of it. You couldn't even see the sky down. They're all hazed out. But from above, you can clearly see the lines that made the smoke screen that's covered people's eyes. Mount Pleasant didn't have very pleasant weather today. I don't think they did at all. Look at this. Look at the lines. Look at the chemtrails. Look at the guilt. This is the guilt. This is the guilt. See the squares there? These are not round, puffy clouds that we grew up with. These are the straight lines that should not naturally occur in nature, but very often occur on the drawing board. And I think it's time we went back to the drawing board and decided to plant trees back. None of these dirty trees, like does President Trump, how dare him call it something a dirty tree when we're the ones that fucking toxified. Sorry, I hit a major swear there. I'll try to back it out and all, but you know. I do get disgusted when I hear them disrespecting the trees. And it is disrespecting. And how dare you open up national parkland that was set aside for our generations just so you can generally just scour it for whatever freak you can get from underneath the sands. Whatever you can get from underneath where those trees were. How dare you call them dirty when the oil is dirty money. How dare you. How dare you. Even to do this to those people that are coming this way. Isn't this supposed to be the land of freedom, the land of opportunity. You know what? The only opportunity I saw was the opportunity to loot your pockets. They called it austerity. You know what I call it? I call it future enslavement. I call it you going nowhere, watching other people's going everywhere. And these people are coming up this way 
It's that Soros gang or somebody's done been paying people off to keep this march toward that border. So I saw a lot of concrete for some concrete company. Didn't Trump have interest in a concrete company that built the wall over in Gaza? It's poor Palestinian people over there. They've been absolutely copping it to into oppressive topics. But that, that's policies of this planet, but that's just a whole nother uh, kettle of fish, a whole nother kettle of brainwashed juice that goes in people's brains. A whole nother batch of fluoride, isn't it? Absolutely scandalous. This is a geoengineered event. Look at the scalar waves here. This is geoengineering. This is man-made weather. This is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And to be blasting it up, frying them people. Look at these chemtrail lines here. Go look at the chemtrails over Alabama. <sighs> Even Forrest Gump could spot that over in Greenbow, couldn't they? Yes, he could. This is the guilt. These are the hurricane seasonings. This is wrong. This is stealing our sunlight. This is changing the vibration of our planet to a vibration that's not friendly to life. And that's wrong. We're, we should be friendly. We should encourage. We should nurture. And we should show the guilt when we say it. Big love. Peace.